Welcome back to the channel, guys. Back again with my boy, Brandon. Hi, been, brother. Been a little bit. Been, been a little a while, bit. Been a Haven't seen my boy Brandon in a while, but we decided to grab some lunch today here in beautiful Fort Worth, Texas, where we, we currently reside, but we're near the TCU area more yep. specifically. And we love it over here. It's a lot of great spots. So you guys come support local TCU spots if you guys, um, if you guys live in the area. So today we're going to do a quick video on, uh, I'll update you guys later. Brandon most likely will not be there. Um, from uh, a brand that I've never heard of before. I don't know anything about this brand. Um, and I just recently heard of it. When I saw it, it looked a little cheap. It looked like something I might find in, uh, like something at Marshall's or something, you know, on the, with it, they don't even put it in the box. It's like, you know, 10 bucks. Um, but then I did a little, little tiny bit of research on it and, and it turns out these are actually um, kind of expensive and it's a tiny little bottle. So I looked up some information. Somebody was selling it online and uh, I was like, okay, I want to check it out because I've never tried one from this house. Two, People in Fergranica always go back and forth talking about how something smells like something. Some people are like, this smells nothing like it. I don't know what they're talking about. So I want to see who's right. And so, and Brandon apparently has heard of the brand, but he's never tried anything. So it is from the house of Jeroboam. We have the Sparrow. So I'm not sure if you guys have tried this before, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to show the, take the lid off so you don't breathe. Uh, I'm just going to fill a little uh, gold atomizer there, but not a lot going on. I don't have the box for this one. It has some little feet here on the, uh, on the bottom of the bottle. But I would, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I, don't, I, I guess you're supposed to set them down like that. I don't, I don't know. I thought maybe they, there was a plaque that fell off or something, but apparently that's not the case. But let me read you guys some of the information about this fragrance. So uh, the Sparrow from the House of Jeroboam is a men's amber fougere fragrance released in 2017. The nose on this fragrance is uh, Vanina uh, Mura Chioli, Chioli, something like that. I'll put it down below, guys, so you guys can read it. Um and it, this is an extract to parfum concentration, probably hence the 30 mil bottle. Yeah. Um, I did see these online. Uh, I think on their website, they sell for 90 bucks, but this is there. They are from Paris, so you probably got to pay for shipping. Um, but on eBay, they're going for like anywhere from 125 to 150, which is a lot for wow. a little 30 mil bottle. Um, and this has been compared to another fragrance. I'm not going to say which one because I want Brandon to see if he, if he knows. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and give you guys a note to this fragrance. In the top, we have apple. Grapefruit and bergamot. In the mid, we have leather, cedar, geranium, and jasmine. The base rounds things off with woody notes, musk, amber, and patchouli. Any thoughts, my friend? Um, just based on the notes. <laughs> this guy here. I know. He's a bloodhound. The apple in the top, I'm going to guess late. Okay. All right. But, yeah, complete guess. Okay. All Wait. right, guys. So, as always, I will let Brandon do the honors and take the first spray. And uh, this will be my sound of the day. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Go easy on it because I don't know. Oh, nice sprayer. A lot comes out. Yeah, a ton comes out. Here we go. Okay. Doesn't smell like Layton. Nope. So I was off. Do you do you, do you get what they what people were saying? I think I know what people are going to compare it to, but I don't I don't agree. Mm. I'm guessing it's Aventus mm -hmm. is what it's compared to. Yeah, and I, I can see how, but I don't... Yeah, it's like in the same family, probably, but... This is super woody. Like, the yeah, cedar is way very, more, Yeah, way more woody. It's very heavy in patchouli. It's heavy in the cedar, or the woody notes. They didn't say cedar. Well, it does say cedar and woody notes, so I'm getting some woody notes specifically. Yeah, it's got a lot more specific. of the, like, fougere vibe. Yeah. Old school vibe. Um, I'm getting some of the, I guess, the apple grapefruit bergamot, so it's fruity. I mean, it reminds me a little bit more of... Um, uh, Nishane, what is that one? Uh, not Ani, but uh, the white one. Uh, ha Hachibot. Hachibot, yeah. Reminds me more of that. Um, I honestly don't think I've smelled that. Than anything. Oh, really? I thought you owned that one. But Because th this one has a very heavy patchouli note, some woody notes, and it has the fruit. It's kind of old school vibe. Does it? To me, yeah. But yeah, I mean, um, it smells good. It's. Uh, I would love to see what the, you know, why it's so expensive versus, I mean, because that's a, that's a good DNA, right? People love this kind yeah. of DNA. Uh, ladies go crazy over it, um, but man, 30 mil for 125 bucks, that's a lot of money. The sprayer does spray a lot of juice, so you probably need yeah. maybe one spray on each arm and then two on your neck, and you're good to go for the day, I would I would guess, but, and I, I want to say that... I can see it's in the Ventus family. Yeah. The patchouli is really heavy in this, so it's definitely masculine. Um, maybe it's like one of the darker Ventus mm, batches. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's dirty. It's a dirty patchouli. It's woody. It has the leather and the cedar. I mean, I really thought you were gonna get that off the bat with the apple too, but no. if you would have saw birch, maybe, yeah. maybe, 
Because I think birch is like a type of wood, isn't it? I think so. Birch tree, yeah. So yeah. maybe that's in the woody note. They just didn't label it. But yeah, I mean, again, this is not right. not a lot to write home to mom about, but uh, it is a it's it's a little uh, similar, but it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, would would I pay? Uh, I'll let you guys know the update. About all my thoughts whenever I get to it. But uh, it's strong. Yeah, it's definitely strong. Yeah, and some people were saying that uh, you know it's you know you can wear this at any, any time of year. I mean, I guess if you wear a Ventus and that's pretty like you know, versatile, then maybe. But I'm a. This is probably a hot take, but I'm an Aventus in the summer only. I don't wear it when oh. it's cooler. Really? Yeah. It's just it's like a summer fragrance to me. Yeah, maybe you need like the vanilla batch. The vanilla batch might help it over maybe the top. So I have a 17 batch. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well. That is our initial thoughts of uh, the Sparrow from the House of Jeroboam. And I will give you guys my uh, my thoughts in the update here in a second. But, Brandon, you've been okay? Yep. Been good? Doing he, well, he just got a well. new car. Well, I'm looking at it right now. I don't know if I want to move the camera to show you guys, but it's a, it's a nice one. It's a nice, nice car. <laughs> way better than mine. So congratulations on that, sir. And, uh, yeah, so wave goodbye to the people here. And I'll talk to you guys here in a second. All right, guys, I wanted to bring you guys a quick update on the Vespero from the house of Jeroboam. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And um, not a lot I can really say about this fragrance. The main thing is this fragrance is not going to be worth the money, okay? Did have a little bit of the Aventus going on, but not really. Overall, it reminded me a lot of Hachibat um, from Nishane, or Nishane, however you guys pronounce it out there. Um, and it reminded me a little bit, I know some of you guys are going to get mad at me. Uh, this is higher quality, of course. Um... But it reminded me a little bit of Cambridge Night from, um, I'll put the picture here, but I can't remember the name of the house. Uh, something Royals, I can't remember what it, what it is, but it's a cheapy house. Um, and I actually used to like those fragrances a while back. Um, but uh, it sort of had like a dryer sheet feel mixed with Hachibot. Um, and that's really about what I got with this. You know, it's it's uh, patchouli heavy, it's citrusy. I think it has, you know, a few other notes in it. So it's like Aventus mixed with the ones that I mentioned, but not overall, it's not going to be an Aventus clone. It just sort of goes down that avenue. That's a little bit of a dryer sheet vibe. I think I just said that, but if I didn't, yeah, it kind of gave me like dryer sheet vibe. That's what I get from Cambridge Night and a couple of other fragrances. Not really sure where that comes from, but overall, I mean, I, I'm just going to say that, yeah, guys, this one here is not going to be uh, worth the money because this is like a little 30 mil, I think. Maybe a yeah, 30 mil, like for a hundred and something bucks. No, no thanks. I don't even know if you can buy these in the States, but... Um, the longevity I got was good. I mean, I got eight hours of this fragrance, so that's good. Um, long, the projection was really good in the first couple of hours. I'm not going to say nuclear, but it was very, very, very strong. So you're going to get noticed wearing this one the first few hours, a couple of hours, few hours. Time of year to wear this one wherever you'd wear, like, uh, Aventus. I mean, pretty much year-round. You can probably wear this one year-round and get away with it, honestly. Uh, I think the patchouli is a bit heavier in this one, and it's very woody and, and um, and spicy in a sense. So so maybe a little bit more towards fall, but I think you can wear this one year round overall. Um, ages, man, with the price, I'm gonna say 30 and up, honestly. Maybe 25 and up just to be safe. But I just don't, you know, know if anyone's gonna really wanna drop the coin for this for this little 30 mil bottle where you can buy something way cheaper that's similar. We'll get to more on that in a minute here. Occasions are gonna be like good work scent. I mean, anywhere you'd wear like a Ventus or those types of fragrances, work scent, casual day wear. You can wear this one at night. I mean, you probably just wear this one for any occasion. And it's probably strong enough for the club, honestly. It's not really a club scent, not super sweet, but I think it's loud enough and strong enough to where you would get noticed wearing this one in the club, if that makes sense. I just don't know if it's gonna be that sweet, clubby fragrance that a lot of people are probably looking for. But yeah, so overall, guys, this isn't gonna be worth the money. I, I don't think it's really. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna have a hard time moving this one for what I paid for it because um, it's just, I don't, I, I don't, one, I can't see the level, so I, I can't tell you how much juice is left. I know, I think I got, bought it nearly full, but I mean, I've, I've worn quite a few uh, sprays. But uh, two is just, you know, kind of been done before and I don't know, but um, yeah, I can't recommend you guys buying, buying this one. If you guys can get it in a swap or something cheap or something like that, you guys can try it out. But my recommendation would be like, you know, if you can't get this one for a really low price or in a really good swap where you're coming out on top, then don't bother with this one, guys. There's plenty of other fragrances on the market that smell like this one. Hachabot, again, and maybe even Cambridge Night on the lower end when it comes to, uh, like, cheaper. Uh, but, guys, what are your thoughts on Vespero from the House of Jerry Bowman? Do you like the fragrance? Let me know your thoughts on the fragrance down in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and first set of content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first set of photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next time, you guys take care.
Thanks.